Def in the fuel system can get ugly really fast. We're talking a $1,000 bill to an $8,000 bill, possibly even $16,000 bill, depending on what all it needs. Now in this video, we're gonna go ahead and talk about the whole system and what happens and how you can try to do the best to prevent it from getting any further. Now, yes, I have all of the components here and all of these are contaminated with DEF from the fuel filter to the fuel pump to the fuel filter housing. It's all inside there. We've got it deep down inside there. We're gonna go down through this whole thing. And if you're sitting at the fuel pump and you just put DEF in, there's some critical steps that you can take and hopefully alleviate uh, some of this cost at least. Let's get into this. Right off the bat, I'm gonna show this document here. Now, just a reminder, I am a GM technician and with vehicles that fall under factory warranty, I do have to follow steps to the T with General Motors in order to retain the vehicle's factory warranty. So this document right here explains everything on if the engine has not been cranked, but the pump has been run as, and also if it has been cranked the entire fuel system. So I'm not gonna read this off to you completely because as I was talking, hopefully you were able to read it or you can go ahead and pause it. Now these are two different jobs. Both of them came in with the same symptoms of, I accidentally put in DEF fluid in my fuel tank. There's gonna be a lot of people saying, hey, why don't you just drop the tank, clean it all out and then send it through but there's a lot of things that take place on DEF in the fuel system and it happens fast. So let's go ahead and talk about the in-tank fuel pump. This in-tank fuel pump right here can run at almost any time. If you unlock the door, it could run. If you open the door, it could run. If you turn the key on, but not the engine, it could run. And once this pump turns on, fuel is sent out and it is sent into the fuel filter housing. And then from there, if it's cranked, it's going through this pump into the rails, into the injectors, and everything is being replaced. And that's how you get to a $16,000 bill could happen rather quickly. And unfortunately, that's what happened in that case. Before we get into that story, it's a, I've got two stories that I'm gonna share with you, but this is the fuel filter housing. You can see inside there, dev fluid, and this was not even run. The, this system right here came from a vehicle that was not run at all. So what happened was it got towed into the dealership. I was told that it is it has not been started at all. I say, great, no problem, let's go and take a look at this. The first thing I do, I don't even unlock the vehicle. I don't do anything. I went out to the vehicle without the keys in my pocket, pulled this fuel filter off, and look at this. That right there tells me that the pump has been run because we have DEF fluid on the fuel filter itself. So it went through there, it's all, it's everywhere. Now, since it's made its way through the fuel filter, we have to assume it's made its way to the pump and that's where the GM information comes into play right here. Engine has not been cranked. In this case, the system from fuel fill pipe to the high pressure fuel pump and the high pressure pipe from pump to rail must be replaced along with low pressure return lines. Now this is the $8,000 repair. So I had to replace the fuel pump and then the lines are one-time use. There were no signs of DEF fluid coming out of this pump, which is tremendous. So those lines right there, go to the rail in this case. So everything from the pump back had to be replaced on this one, including the fuel tank. Now, the reason that the fuel tank needed to be replaced was because the DEF goes into the filler pipe. So now DEF contaminated the filler pipe, the tank, the pump inside the tank. We know that it's powered on through the housing. It's gone through the housing, through the filter. It's gone through that line with fuel pressure sensor on it, and it's made its way up to the pump. So everything had to be replaced that was touched with DEF fluid. Now you're probably wondering, well, why didn't you just pull off the tank and flush it out? Well, under GM policy, we cannot actually do that because when the vehicle is towed into the shop, all this fuel is sloshing and it could be just going everywhere. And the chance of me getting every single particle out is very minimal. So new fuel tank, new filler pipe, some of this stuff just can't be cleaned. All the lines all across, that's just the way that it is. Now I know a lot of people out there are gonna say, wait a minute, I did the same thing and I had my vehicle just flushed out with water, cleaned it all out and everything was good to go. 
it's a high possibility and that is awesome if that worked out as well as it did for you looking at this now if the vehicle was cranked at all we just sent all that through and you can see all the contamination inside there and that will end up going into the fuel injector and everything is toast everything is getting replaced and that's what happened with the sixteen thousand dollar repair i went in there thinking okay we only have to do the basic stuff I get to the fuel pump and I've got def fluid coming out of there. Oh no, my goodness. And I go over here to the rail and it's coming out of this return. This is all crystallization from removing the fuel lines at the fuel injectors, which shows the def fluid had gone into fuel injectors themselves. That told me it's been run. And I don't wanna to jump to conclusions here, but I wanna tell this story because it's something that people need to be aware of. This vehicle was said to have not been run at all. And I did not run it at all. I did all the precautions that I could. What I think the possibility is that the tow truck driver, when removing it off the flatbed, drove it off and that's what caused this to run there. Now, obviously I can't point fingers like that and everything was covered under their auto insurance. Not my thing to figure all that stuff out, but. That's what I think happened. And the reason I say this is so that way, if you have your vehicle towed, I would stay with it as much as you possibly can. Stay with it. Make sure that this vehicle is not fired up at all. That way it'll save you from having a gigantic repair bill and maybe only a medium repair bill, maybe minimal, but minimize it by doing a couple more steps. All right, so let's assume that I am at the fuel station and I just poured DEF fluid into my uh, fuel tank on accident, I'm not doing anything. I'm freaked out. First thing that I'm doing personally is I'm gonna go under the hood, I'm gonna disconnect the battery. And the reason that I do that is because it disables all the systems. After that, I'm calling the wife, seeing if she can come pick me up, uh, head back to the house. I'm gonna grab a drain pan and I'm gonna go ahead and get my tools to remove the fuel filter housing. I'm gonna put the drain pan underneath the vehicle, pull off the fuel filter housing. The reason I do that is because now whenever the key is turned on, this pump is going to turn on. It's almost inevitable that this pump turns on and it's going to send fuel. And it's now with the fuel filter housing, the fuel is actually going to enter into the housing and just go straight down into the drain pan that I have. Hopefully there's not a whole lot in there and maybe it runs dry and we're a-okay. I do wanna point out that DEF fluid is heavier than diesel fuel, so it's going to sit at the bottom, which means the DEF fluid is going to go into this sending unit absolutely immediately. All right, so now I've got my battery disconnected. I've got this disconnected. The other option is to just go and disconnect this line. It's gonna make much more of a mess, but maybe a little bit easier. But in situations like this, whatever I can personally do to minimize the damage, that's what I'm going to do. So either I'm pulling off this fuel filter bowl or I'm pulling off that line, either way, I do not want DEF fluid going beyond this fuel filter housing. That's gonna save me a lot of time and money, especially keeping it away from this high pressure fuel pump because this is the most costly item. If we can keep it to this system back, that's okay. I will accept that mistake and we'll be okay with just minimizing this. Sometimes the battery will have to be reconnected. One reason is going to be because your parking brake is set. It's going to be very difficult to tow the vehicle if the parking brake is set. The other is if you can't get it into neutral, um, if you have the electronic transmission, then you're not going to be able to get it into neutral. And there's a way to get it into neutral. This is not a safe way. Uh, I do not recommend anybody doing this, but there is a way where if you use a wrench on the side of it, it'll go ahead and throw it into neutral. But remember, you don't have the parking brake set now and it's a neutral, it's gonna roll and uh, potentially kill somebody. So don't do that, just saying that this is a possibility that somebody that's trained can do to get it into neutral. So the tow truck driver should be able to handle getting it into neutral, getting everything safe. And like I said, if the steering wheel is locked, the key is gonna have to be turned on. And if it's turned on, this pump is turning on, which is gonna make a big mess. But I'd rather have a big mess on the floor that I clean up than have it go through the whole system. So hopefully this makes sense to you. It's very, very important that if DEF fluid goes into the system, immediately try to halt everything possible. One thing I do suggest is getting a fuel cap like this PPE one. This is what I use. You can get these on demonworkshop.com. This will keep you from hopefully putting DEF fluid inside the fuel system because this cap, there's also cheaper variants on Amazon too. So I'm not saying that this is the only one available to you, but just getting a cap 
is a fantastic way to go because now you have to physically remove the diesel fuel cap and set it aside in order to put diesel fuel in. And then if you have the DEF fluid one removed, then you go and grab the DEF pump if that's how you do it or the box and you put it in just that one. You don't have any accidents, hopefully that way. So this should have come from the factory as a safety measure, but unfortunately we don't. Maybe in the future they'll do that. But these are readily available. I highly suggest grabbing one of these. I absolutely love mine magnetic, so that way you can just set it on whatever and it'll hold itself in place. But this is what I use. Also helps keep dirt and debris out of the fuel system, which as you can see in this one, there's dirt and debris inside there. So we know dirt and debris can get through in the filler pipe. So go ahead and leave some comments on what you do if, uh, or what you have done if you ran into this issue or how you prevent it, or if I'm even incorrect on some of the things that I said here, what are your suggestions so that way we can share it with the community and we can all build a better community on knowledgeable 3.0 Duramax diesel fans. So hopefully this helps out. Till next time, see ya.